All right, hello everyone and welcome to another Q&A call session right in with me. I wanna thank you so much for writing in on the social world. Please do so if you haven't yet. Go ahead and put this up, take advantage of this beautiful little thing that we made. We are on all social platforms at Brian Rasher Global. If you have any questions at all, I when I have a few minutes during the day, I love to answer them. So please hit us up. We got a really good question from Deborah. Deborah said that she's trying to write a book and she's been trying to write a book for five years and she just cannot seem to grasp writing it. And there were several things in Deborah's email that I want to touch on. The first being that she's been writing for five years and she just self doubt kind of crawls in once she gets any sort of progress and the question becomes who would want to read this. And then the second, so basically I'm going to frame up the question and I'm going to answer the question. So that's the first part. The second part is she has this story that she wants to share. She was um, basically given up at birth. She was in foster care. She was adopted and then placed in the behavioral health center at 14. At 18, she decided that she did not want to go back to the adoptive family and kind of started her own life. And the third part was I found different publishing companies that have ghost writers. However, they're way too expensive for me. So let me answer those questions in three parts. And this is, I think this is valuable for anyone that's trying to do some sort of branding or create some sort of content or bring something into the world in some way, in a way that didn't exist before. Deborah, you are not alone. Many people want to write a book or want to do something and they can't seem to muster up the finish lineness of it. So I will say this, Deborah. Number one, when you start to doubt yourself about writing a book, first of all, I would say this, five years is a long time to be working on a book. I don't know how much of it you have done. We went back and forth a little bit on email, but I don't know how much of that you're, you're actually done with. I would say set a goal to actually have the book out by a certain date. If you've been working on it for five years, give yourself six more months or maybe one more year max and just really do it. And whatever it is, it's better that you don't write me in five or 10 years from now saying I've been working on this book for 15 years and I don't think anyone would want to read it. It's way better to have something, something out there that no one's actually reading. And that way you at least know that no one wants to read it. That's the first thing I would say. Stop assuming what the audience wants. Stop assuming what the market will decide and actually start to put something out there and see and let the market decide for you. It's so easy to constantly be thinking about uh, they won't want this, they won't love me, they won't think I'm a good writer, they won't, they won't, 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 all in future tense that has nothing to do with an actual present product. So I would say first thing is really figure out um, that the most important thing you can do is release something into the world and let the world tell you if it's good or not. So, so that self-doubt piece, let that go. The second thing is who would want to read it? Write the book for your damn self, Deborah. Don't worry about who wants to read it. The best books in the world all scratch their own itch. Write the book that you wish you would have had at age 14, at age 18, at age 25. I'm not actually sure how old you are, but I'm assuming you're older than 18 because you said you left a foster home at 18 and you didn't come back. So write the book for yourself. Write the book that you wish you would have had when you were 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 25, 35, however old you are, and thematically structure the book around the lessons that you learned authentically as a person that you would like to share with other people. In terms of you sharing your message in a big way, there are lots and lots of ways you can do this. It depends if you wanna monetize your book or not monetize your book. They're very different paths. If you wanna monetize your book, then you have to get smart about social media. And there's a bunch of different ways you can sell books on social media, including hashtagging orphanages, including hashtagging orphans, including hashtagging foster cares. And you can literally DM every single person that pops up on that Instagram page or on that Twitter feed about your book that you're selling for $4.99 and ask them to buy it and ask them to and tell them why that you think that you sh they should buy it. If you're not interested in monetizing the book, if it's more of a legacy thing where you want to just make an impact in the world, you could give your book away to every single orphanage in the world and it would be seen by millions and billions of people and that just requires a little bit of legwork on your end. So you, there are many, many, many creative ways to get your message out there, to get your book seen and read and in the hands of the right kinds of people. It's just a matter of actually putting it out there. The final piece about publish, pu uh, working with a publisher and uh, ghostwriter and it being expensive, I get that. The thing is you don't need a publisher. You, don't, you can self-publish on Amazon, it costs no dollars, zero, zero cents, zero dollars. And you can just jam on that on Amazon. And the other thing I would say is in terms of a ghostwriter, you know, 
I don't think you even need a ghostwriter. I think what you need to do if writing is a pain in the butt for you, what you should do is you should simply take out your cell phone and you should voice memo for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes a day where you're kind of just voice memoing the chapter. Then you go back through that night and you actually just transcribe the stuff that you said. So if the five year thing is because you're not a good writer, then speak first and then write it later. That's what I would say, Deborah. I wish you a lot of success. Please let me know if I can be a further assistance to you in the future, but get something out there. Let the market decide on what's good. Be smart about distribution. Use social to spread your message in a scalable way. Share the message and write the book for yourself.